All right, so like many users of Blue Iris out there, uh, I've really wanted to have Blue Iris on my Fire TV so I can easily uh, pull up my remote and view my security cameras at my house. Uh, so this is a little tutorial video about how I was able to make that happen. So as you can see, now I've got Blue Iris installed on my uh, Amazon Fire TV and I can go and connect to it and it'll automatically pull up all the cameras that are at my house so I can easily see what's going on. So I was able to do that by sideloading the Blue Iris Android application. Uh, so one of the first steps is you've got to go over to settings and for the device uh, you, you've got to enable uh, the, the debugging mode uh, for um, un, under developer options. So if you go into developer options and turn ADB debugging on and apps from unknown sources on as well, uh, that's kind of the, the first step. So then the next step is you've got to go out to uh, download the Android developer tools. So I'll try and post the, the link to the, the URL in the video notes, but you'll go down and, and download uh, the Android development tools. And as you can see, there's development tools for Windows, Mac, and Linux. In this case, I downloaded the Windows tools and you'll extract those to disk. I've extracted them out uh, to my C drive, so C colon backslash uh, platform tools is where I extracted out the download zip file uh, that I downloaded from this developer tool site. So the next step is you've got to download and, and find the Blue Iris Android APK. Um, so ideally you, you purchase that on, a, uh, on an Android device, in which case uh, it's even easier because if you've purchased it on an Android device, you can sideload it from the device itself. Uh, but if you don't have an Android device and you've purchased it through some other method or downloaded it otherwise, uh, once you have the Blue Iris uh, APK file, uh, then in this case I've renamed it to BI APK just to make it easy. So I've got my Blue Iris APK file. And what you're going to do is you're going to open up a command prompt and you're going to type in a CD backslash. And since I extracted my uh, my uh, developer tools out to platform tools folder so I'm going to go CD platform tools and then once we're in platform tools we're going to type in adb.exe and then space connect space and then the IP address of your Amazon Fire TV in this case if you need the IP address of your Fire TV you hop over to your Fire TV go into settings scroll all the way over uh, to I think it's under device, yeah. Device, about, and network. Uh, you can get the network settings and the IP address for your device. So once you got the IP address to your device, you feed it over to the command prompt. In this case, I was 192.168.1.134, and it goes out there and connects to your Fire TV. Once you've connected to your Fire TV through the Android tools, you then type in ADB space install space bi.apk or whatever the name uh, uh, that you choose to name your your blue iris apk file that you download so as we can see it took about 30 something seconds to install it uh, but it successfully installed it over on the fire tv so once that completes it's now been side loaded over to your fire tv and it will appear in in your app sections so over here, there's a section on Fire TV called Your Apps and Games. So if you scroll all the way over and go to See All, and scroll all the way down at the bottom right, there's this new cool Blue Iris application that'll be installed in your Fire TV. So if you open that up, the first time you open it up, it's not gonna do this. <laughs> uh, the first time you open it up, it's gonna go to, to the login screen. So let me log out real quick. And you'll have to click uh, add a new server so in order to do that you might be able to finagle it with your uh, Amazon uh, uh, Fire TV remote but likely uh, there's some data entry that may be a little bit problematic uh, just using uh, your, your Fire TV remote control so if you have a USB keyboard and mouse uh, that's really the best option to get this done uh, so we'll pan over here real quick to our Fire TV box I've installed a little Logitech wireless uh, keyboard and mouse module here. 
Uh, you might be able to do a USB hub with a wired USB uh, keyboard and mouse, uh, but you know the wireless is an easy option as well, and they're dirt cheap. In fact, you may even want to buy a little um, small micro-sized uh, USB uh, keyboard and mouse combination. But in this case, we've got a Logitech keyboard and mouse, so that little receiver is tied to this Logitech keyboard and mouse combo over here. So now, when I move the mouse, we see over here on the screen, our Fire TV now has a mouse cursor. And that's tied to that wireless keyboard and mouse. So I can go in here and I can click things on the screen and you would interact with it just like you would on your Android device. You would go and add the server. Uh, you'll type in the same key that your Blue Iris generates uh, for being able to connect to your server. I'm not gonna show you the details here for security reasons, but that will pull down the IP addresses and you'll type in the username and password for your Blue Iris home server. And then once you have all that set up, you'll click connect and it connects just like on your mobile device. And I've got mine set up to go to my, my camera overview mode. Uh, so now you can still somewhat interact with it with the remote. Uh, so if I click the little back button, it goes back to kind of the main menu there. Uh, let's see. And then we have this side menu over here uh, that's accessible as well. So some of the things I did to, to further configure it, I went over into settings and tweaked some of those settings. So one of the first settings that I turned off was this split view on tablet because it's it, it thinks it's a it's an Android tablet because of the landscape orientation. So I turned that off so I'd have one you know, consistent display over here. So I turned off uh, split view on tablet. And then the other thing uh, that I, I turned on, if I can find it in here, uh, relates to the, the default uh, camera that, that's displayed. I forget where that setting is. Ah, there we go. Um, so I turned default log into area as to first camera slash group. Uh, so if I'm ever logged out, um, I can now use my Android remote to connect to it and, and view my, my camera overviews. So unfortunately with Android, it, it's kind of, uh, I'm sorry, with the Fire TV, it's kind of hard to see what you're doing with the Android remote, I mean, with the Fire TV remote, because you don't really get a, a, a kind of cursor feedback on the screen when I'm doing up and down with the Android remote. So what I do is just press down a bunch of times and I know that puts me at the question mark on the screen. And then I'm gonna press up once. Now I know I'm at the edit, up twice gets me to connect. Now I'm gonna press in the center and then boom, I'm connected and it takes me to my overview screen for all my cameras which this is what I really care about, being able to just quickly see what's going on with all the uh, cameras connected to Blue Iris around my house. Uh, so that's how I was able to easily sideload uh, Blue Iris onto my Fire TV, and I uh, hope this helps out uh, with some of the, uh, the Blue Iris uh, users out there who want to view their cameras easily on their TV. Ideally, it would be great if Blue Iris had their own um, native application for uh, Fire TV, or, or TiVo or, or some of the smart TVs that are out there. Uh, that would be the kind of ideal scenario, but this is a, a fairly easy kind of hack to, to get it done um, with relatively minimal effort. And if I exit out of here, I'm gonna go back to the home screen of my uh, Fire TV, and now it's over here in my recent apps. Uh, so if I wanna view it at any time, just turn on my Fire TV and click Blue Iris, and it's going to instantly go and connect back uh, to my Blue Iris server and overview all my cameras. And like I was showing you a minute ago, if for whatever reason uh, you happen to get logged out, if I can click on it, there we go. So I'm gonna log out real quick. Just once again, the, the trick to getting it pulled back up that, that I've come up with is you just press down a bunch of times so now you know you're at the question mark and press up twice and press on the center and it, it's gonna log you directly in. And because I have the, the default view as the camera group, yeah, it works out pretty well. So hope you found this uh, video useful. And uh, and once again, love my Blue Iris server and hope to see some, some native apps for uh, Android, Fire TV, and others uh, so that we can more easily view our, our cameras on, on the TV. But anyway, hope this helps out and uh, let me know if you've got any questions. Thanks.